season of Christmas, and while you were cooking, there's one part of the palette you were overlooking. The stockings are hung, and the evergreens up. But the question today is, just what's in my cup? It's creamy and rich, a smooth holiday grog. Mmm, nutmeg and cinnamon, it must be eggnog. That classic old beverage, served cold or served warm, like a spiced yuletide cookie in liquefied form. Since missing ingredients is our show's running joke, we're going to try eggnog without whites or yolk. For the queasy of stomach, this recipe will show you how to avoid drinking raw eggs like Rocky Balboa. We'll start with the milk, four cups on the stove, and then the spice mixture, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Three quarter teaspoon of the first two, and one fourth for the last, aromas that summon the ghost of Christmas past. Now in place of the eggs to thicken the mixture, we're going to use marshmallows, that confectioner's fixture. Drop 16 large ones and stir till they've melted, providing sugar vanilla and the texture of velvet. Normally the eggs, besides thickening functions, add slight savory notes to the final concoction. We'll try to achieve this through a flavor paraphrase by scooping one tablespoon plain mayonnaise. Now keep up the stirring on medium heat till all is dissolved and our mixture is complete. Use marshmallows to thicken if thicker is willed. Just don't forget it thickens itself when it's chilled. Throwing an adult party, spike this liquid candy by pouring in a half cup rum, bourbon, or brandy. It will help you feel warmth like a fur Santa suit and also hallucinate some sweet dancing fruit. But we'll drink it as is with smile and with boast as we raise our glass to give this final toast. Be brave and don't worry if your cupboards look scanty. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a full pantry. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.